Have you ever been in a chicken or egg or egg or chicken situation? What's going on guys? Welcome back to Detached Garage. I need your help today and I'm gonna walk you through the question I wanna ask you so you can leave your answer in the comments below. So welcome back to the garage, guys. I need your help figuring out how to keep this garage build moving forward. I have two options for you that I'm gonna explain right now, but I wanna show you a little bit of progress of what's happened. I've got some temporary lighting in with the Milwaukee uh, job site lights. We've pretty much got all of our electrical done, you can see here, except for two runs of electrical. And what I really wanted to talk to you today about is how cold it is and the chicken and egg situation we're in. So I'm doing spray foam in the cavities back here, and then I'm gonna do bat insulation after that. But in order to spray foam, it needs to be 15 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. And so, um, yes, we do get some warm days here in January and February where it's 30 degrees or so, but it still dips down below 15 degrees at night. So the garage door people who want this wall here and this wall back here to be drywalled before they put the garage doors in, uh, we would need to do spray foam, then bat insulation, then drywall. That really can't happen until we have a nice day. So the two things I want your opinion on are, should we wait? Should we wait for a nice day, do the spray foam with these garage doors wide open, open to the elements, then do bad insulation, then get the drywall up, then put the garage doors on? Or should we put the garage doors on first, get a little torpedo heater in here to heat this place up, and then do spray foam, because then we can put spray foam on uh, with the torpedo heater going, and then we can paint the ceiling, we can do a whole bunch of other stuff. So vote for option one, wait, or option two, get the garage doors on and keep it moving forward. Looking forward to hearing your um, thoughts in the comments below why I should or shouldn't do that, but this is a short video today, and I hope I can use your help to keep this garage build moving forward. Thanks again for watching Detached Garage.